Hi everybody. Do you also have the feeling sometimes that the entire idea of rural development, the whole concept behind it, is somewhat misguided? That it all leads to the end of any rural area in the end? Everybody needs to be urban at some point? Well, let's go back and have a look at where it comes from. And I want to give a certain recommendation today. Go and get yourself this magazine. You have to read German though, because the online operations in English have been shut down and everything has to has been closed down a little bit. I guess understandable because you need to pay for valuable content and getting everything free online is not sustainable in the long run. So now this magazine is about space and the chances in the province. So it has some great insights. It's a business magazine of a different type. It has some great stories, uh, mainly from Germany, but also from other parts of the world, but mainly from Germany. For example, this story from remote Brandenburg, uh, north of Berlin, where a uh, rural, rural um, community decided to actually prop up their school and get teachers again and fix up the building. And uh, that actually triggered for the whole development process to, to start off again. So they were young couples with kids moving in. They brought business, they brought action into town. The shops didn't need to close down anymore. The, the teacher here, he came from Berlin. He was actually accepting that he uh, won't make that much money um, in the town than he was making in Berlin, but actually says he's much more happy there and he's actually much more engaged. The whole thing actually takes him somewhere. Now, well, just to give you one other example, um, help yourself. This is, this guy here is a mayor from a town in the Schwäbische Alb, southern Germany. Um, he actually brought a healthcare center to town which brought some business there. There's actually some water buffalo. So farmers are uh, experimenting with different livestock there now. And actually this also triggered some uh, development processes there, but they're not necessarily urban processes. Now, the title story by Wolf Lotter, he's usually giving some reflections on the whole concept. It's also quite interesting. And that is actually my main recommendation for you to lean back and read through and uh, consider what he has to say. Because what he says is that the idea of rural development or the, the concept of uh, splitting the, the, the remote areas from the center, the center of power actually came from the Roman Empire. For the Romans, the citizens were only Romans and they were actually expanding the empire in the sense that the, the outside areas actually always had to support just what Rome was doing. All the revenue went to Rome. And the way they um, perceived the outside was that these are tribalists. They can't really express themselves. They, they're not as media savvy as we would say today. And they need to be helped. But it was always done in the sense that they could actually generate more income that more would flow back to Rome. So this is, and since the Roman Empire was there for maybe about 2000 years about, it is quite obvious maybe that this concept still is, uh, is there in, in a certain way. Now, if you take the idea of actually how actually people are fleeing the countryside to go to, to town, that they're running away. This whole idea, this uh, it, it seems to be that it's not really that clear cut that there is a lot of old thought overlaying this. There's nothing really much that you need to run away from a rural area, at least not nowadays. Now, give this article some thought. Wolf Lotter is actually making some great points there about where it all started. Maybe one more thought about this whole concept, how it actually patches out today. Because if you consider it, rural development today is actually promoted by development agencies. So the whole thing actually shifted a little bit. So you have modern agencies in the centers of, of the global civilization, the global north, 
who actually promote certain concepts to make the global south and their most remote areas to become urban. Now, some of these people that work there are sons and daughters of also farmers, especially when it comes to agriculture and rural development. But they're actually the ones that left there and went to good schools and ended up in the town. So they ran away from the places and they're actually promoting the whole issue. Now, it's not far-fetched to consider that they have a certain perspective on the whole thing because it's not the whole thing is not done and uh, uh, conceptualized by people that actually stayed there, that are in the rural areas of Germany, of Brazil or whatever, but the ones who actually decided that it's better to live somewhere else in the city. So that might give you some thought on um, who's actually creating the concepts and, 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 and where it's all leading. And one more final thought. It's not about rural development and the people, it's about agriculture. If you consider the idea of the Roman Empire being the center of power and the rest of the world was there for them to actually provide the resources, the riches, the, the corn, whatever it was. If you think of it like this today, it's still a little bit like that. The agriculture and the modern forms of it, the industrialized agriculture, is there to literally fuel the energy needs of the urbanized lifestyle.